What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. This video is for all the people who donated to the solar power water borehole system for the community. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving you the videos of what's happening. You'll see in the video that the water's coming out. We put the water bowl, we put the, the water storage on top. Now the water storage and the thing, the tower that we're building is actually further within my land, right? And we're running pipe through a trench to the front where the borehole is. So the, the water storage, where, where the water storage is gonna go, where it is, is not where the borehole is. The borehole is in the front where y'all saw when we had the truck dig in. That's where the borehole is. So you'll see the PVC pipe going through the trenches to the, um, to the borehole. And then there will be another PVC pipe because right where the borehole is gonna be is where the platform where the five um, spigots, where the five you know taps are gonna be for people to utilize. Because it's better to put the borehole storage system a little further in on my land. So you ain't got to worry about it um, being affected by the, the power line. Because if y'all remember my other videos, where they'll be collecting the water by the road, there's a power line right there. And we don't want to have any situation to where the power line comes down, affects that, knocks anything over. So it's safely in the back. Plus, ain't nobody going to be walking on my land, touching up on my, you know, the boat, you know, the, the water storage, you know, so it's safer back there. And so that's what you'll be see. You'll also see there's a tap by the borehole system too, you know, just in case we need to, you know, run water directly by the storage. So there's a tap by the storage, which you'll see in the video. You'll see the water come out. So you'll see everything's running. We got the generators on right now, testing to make sure the water and everything's running smooth. And the last thing we got to do is put the, the um, solar panels on top and then run another PVC pipe uh from the borehole to the to the um the platform of which everybody's going to be able to get their their water out of so that'll be a separate pipe i think they're going to use the same they probably use the same um trench so you'll see the trench is open because another pipe needs to be ran so that you know since it's so far from the borehole the water storage that way when the water is filled the the storage will also They'll be able to use that to get the water out of it too. So I think it's a two prong system. We didn't even put the the new um, the new pump in there yet. That'll be one of the last things we do because that pump, remember, goes with the solar panel. So that's what we got going on. Just want to keep y'all abreast of what's happening because it's your money. All right, your money. You need to know where your money's going. You know what I'm talking about. So this is how I this is how I do things in Africa, right? I utilize apps like Marco Polo whatsapp any kind of video app anytime i'm doing a project anything because i do a lot of projects what i do is especially when you're sending money and this is how you make sure that the people that you're dealing with your partners or whoever you're dealing with over there your business partners are doing what they're supposed to be doing with your money you only send like you take the project let's say you got any project and you break it down into into sections phases right only send the money each phase you only send your money over there especially if you're not there you send the money each phase and during that phase whatever is supposed to be happening you need to know what's happening don't just take their word for it you need to let them know i need video ed i need to see the work done as if i'm there right so anytime i'm getting something done first phase i need to see first phase happening i need to see the materials sitting wherever it's supposed to be sit I need to see the workers working on the item and I need to see, I need a 360 so I can know where it is that you're doing it at. So I can recognize that my, for my own eyes. I need to see whatever the process. And before we get to the second phase, before I send money for the second phase, I need to see first phase complete with my own eyes. If it's, I was there, right? This is the best you can do if you're doing any project remotely. And like I said, WhatsApp and Marco Polo are great apps to be doing these things. Right. And then once I know that it's getting done, Second phase, right? Repeat, all right? Second phase, I need to see second phase. I need to know second phase is happening. I need to see material, wherever it's sitting. I need to see the boxes, all that stuff, right? After second phase, third phase, fourth, fifth, and so on until completion. That's how you, that's the best. I mean, nothing's perfect, right? But at the same time, as long as you do your best, your best to be very observant from wherever you are and do your due diligence, you have to be anal, when you're sending money to people, no matter who, I don't care if it's your sister, your brother, because you, how many stories have y'all heard 
of Africans sending money to their sisters, to their brothers, to their mamas, to their fathers to build them a house, to build them a compound. And they don't do any kind of like any kind of follow up. They just send money, just hoping and praying and wishing and assuming that the people that are supposed to be closest to them are doing what they say with the money. Then they go and fly home. Right. And they find out their parent, their family members have been blowing their goddamn money. Right. Built absolutely nothing and screwed them over. All right. I refuse to be that kind of victim. Right. And nine times out of ten is because these people trusted their family members to do something in its completion without verifying, without checking, without following up. I would never do that. I don't care how much I love you. Trust but verify. All right. Trust but verify. I don't care if it was my kids. I don't trust you, Slim. All right. That's just what it is. I need to see that shit. All right. I don't trust myself. I got it. I got shit. If I'm doing it, I need to verify that shit with myself. That's how I roll. You got to be like that. If you want to do anything remotely that goes for if you're doing something in the Caribbean, because y'all could be building something in the Caribbean and be in America because you got to work, make the U.S. money. Right. You take that money. You flip you. You you leverage it somewhere else where your money goes further to build something that you couldn't build back in America. Right. But you the, you have to be anal. You have to hey, give me video. I want to see video. Everybody got a phone. Ain't no goddamn excuses. God damn it. All right. Even if it's a contract, take a picture. Let me see that shit. Go like this. They may not be experts on using the camera, but it don't matter. You're going to show me that you did what I told you to do with my money. Period. All right. And that's before they get their portion. And that's just how it is. All right. So without further ado, that's what's in the video. I just want y'all to check this out as I am having you guys follow along as the last leg of this thing. All right. Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some. Teach some. I'm out. I didn't come here by mother.
Commission of Project. Commission of Project. Sudan, boycott diamonds and gold. Free Sudan, boycott diamonds and gold. We most definitely cannot forget about the people of Sudan. Thanks for watching Afro Think Tank. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Substack and Patreon for more content. Remember, it's pan Africanism or nothing.